Hi everybody, how are you? Wow, so excited. All right, so I have something really special for you today, as usual. <laughs> um, Monday morning, hey? So you might remember back a while ago, um, quite a few many months ago, I made all these little flip books online and there's a tutorial on, on there. Um, and what I'm going to do with this next week's work, um, and I just love how the other ones turned out. I hope you yours turned out. Um, there was one there I wasn't too sure about, but after a while, um, it turned out okay. And of course, there is 12 weeks to this. So there is those final touches coming up in the last couple of weeks and then each one of these will be absolutely its own little picture and we are going to do something with them at the end of the 12 weeks so the inspirational um this is an inspirational book i made of techniques uh you know when you're creating sometimes you um i don't know you just forget ideas that you have had or things that you've done in the past you kind of get focused on on all the things that you're doing now and and so it's a really good little reminder. Anyway, I was looking through here and looking at these and what I decided to do was, um, since we did paint the week before, this week we're just going to do collage again, but it's going to be a different collage. Um, do you remember, they, you might, I don't know whether you follow me or not, but there is also a link um, for setting up different different ideas of how to set up a page now um, we kind of have things already set up but this would actually give you a pretty a good idea of of central points uh, and so forth too there's one in here so it's kind of like a portrait the portrait so what we're going to do is we're going to put the that focus point in so these are um, and or in this, and if you haven't, if you haven't looked this up, um, I will put a link underneath actually for it. Um, there, and it's also free, I believe, still on my Judy Armstrong Studio um, Facebook page. There's a link there. I'm sure it's just free. I haven't unactivated, so so it should just be there um, to download it and print it out. So this little book comes along with me, just so we, when I'm doing things, um, I can you know work out different ways of, of laying out things and um, instinctively I do them now as you might actually if you have a look at this and you have a look at all my work in here it, it becomes quite instinctive to actually do different layouts and, and um, you know think about things so in in this there is a, a, a diagram but then there also is the picture that I've done with the focus point so there's already lots of work going on but then there is a focus point anyway i thought that that might help um if you're having a struggle with this week you can look it up and print it out and i will but i will put the link underneath um so in my studio as you know i love old things um archaeological digs um old words anything anything rustic you know and ancient pretty much if you've ever looked at any of my work um, any of my papers these are my papers so um, from Etsy so you can see they're kind of really um, ancient -y, old world looking anyway this one this flip book book is and you've probably seen this a few times is my scripts so I do scripts um, and I practice scripts and design my own and so forth and then or find pieces of paper that have just got script on them and then I put them into the flip book and that way I can store them really easily and have them when I'm traveling or going around or whatever I'm doing so for this one I need you to find a focus point now those are the things that I'm in interested in so therefore I have in my studio lots of pictures of um, you know coffee stained pots and uh, things like that you know and and I'm trying to find some now and I can't actually find any because I've been I'm so messy today seriously this is actually from yesterday but um you could be butterflies it could be anything I just you need to just sit with it sit with your picture um and
Alright, so I found some. So, you know, obviously paint brushes and this is a stamp just on a um, tracing paper and like these are all pictures and of oil lamps and um, I have Buddhas and all sorts of bits and pieces, doors, windows, books, pieces of postcards, writings. So these are the kind of things that I have just kicking around, um, keys already sort of, you know, glued onto a um, sort of grungy looking background. So when I'm creating something, uh, any of the leftovers I just put together and keep with a peg so that I know where they are. Um, so I'm, I, instead of letting you, um, watch me go through the box and find, uh, what I, <laughs> what I want to put on here, I did find, I went through a few things, but I actually decided I, I found this gorgeous, um, pencil sketch of a, uh, of the bottle and I'm going to use that. I'm actually going to put it here and I've taken off, so in this, um, this used to be around here. This was printed on secondhand paper too, you know. As I said, I always use paper twice uh, when I'm printing things. Um, I Even if that came through with the glue, I wouldn't mind. It'd be like some other, you know, understatement. I love it. Um, so I'm going to put that there. And I'm going to put that piece that, you, that came from here. I'm actually going to put it round there. And then I'm going to put this one up here. So what I want you to do, that's all I want you to do. I just want you to do, I was going to put a window on at one stage, that beautiful stained glass window, but I can't. Although that really would look good. <laughs> no, no, I'll stick with what my first decision. Um, so I have sat with myself and, and done today because I was thinking it just takes such a long period of time for me to do that. So um, I have done that, and this is actually what I'm going to glue down. Now, today I'm using also a little bit different. I'm using methyl cellulose um, to glue down today, and I made this up. Now, methyl cellulose is archival and all, and all of that, so I'm just really testing it because I've never used it before. And um, I've never used it on, on, on these things before so I'm just going to test it and um, on these and make sure that it works but I believe it just would save me so much money buying all those glue sticks if it was really fabulous <laughs> not that I mind the glue sticks for traveling and stuff but when I'm in my studio it seems a bit silly so anyway I'm going to so I had to buy this from a book binding store in Australia, and um, which was cool. I thought that was really cool. I found a nice book binding um, company, and they sent it out to me. So, and I made it up, and it was quite easy to make up. I I was surprised. The only thing that you've got to use is distilled water. I found that um, difficult to find. Uh, I found demineralized water, but um, not distilled water. So that was a bit annoying. I, I, and I mean, I was only following instructions that I'd been given. So I'm hoping demineralized water is pretty much the same as distilled water. Now, on these three pieces, that's all I want you to add. So it could be three anything. It could be a bird and you know two pieces of tree i don't know whatever it doesn't doesn't really matter what it is as you know because it's always it's yours um i'd love to see if anyone else if anyone else has used methyl cellulose um could you just send me a message please and tell me how you found it and what its downsides are if there is any downsides to it thanks <laughs> um all right, so there we go. Now, um, as I was saying before, if you know my work, you know that the last thing I do is ink work. And so on these 
the last week we will be doing gold and ink work because that's actually what I do. It's my sort of my final, my final thing to the picture. So I will leave you three pieces, okay? Three pieces, one focal point. One focal point and two other pieces around. Doesn't have to be in the same color. It can be in any vein, but one focal point. So your eye goes to that focal point first, hopefully at the end. <laughs> All right. See you later. See you next Monday. Have a fantastic week. I hope it's nice and warm where you are. Okay. Bye.